Well, today is certainly a day for reflection. Uh, today is February the 15th. Um, it would have been my dear little Chip's birthday today. I really seem to miss him more every day. Um, a couple of days ago, I had a post um, sent me on Chuggabug on Facebook. And it was from a lovely lady uh, called Kim Jarvis. Uh, hi, Kim, and thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, some scum has took it amongst themselves to, uh, to vandalise Chip's memorial there down by Crick. Um, it was completely trashed. The cross had gone, the little stone memorial that we placed has been wrecked. A couple of the bedding plants were still there. Uh, the cross had completely gone and Kim had uh, made a makeshift cross, bless you. Um, thank you so much. Um, so Chip's memory is still there. Um, it broke my heart to see that. And what piece of scum could actually bring themselves to do that? I don't know. Um, karma will bite you on the arse. I promise you, it will. <laughs> How could anybody do that to a sweet little memorial for a, such a beautiful little boy? I do not know. But it will bite you, and it will get you. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, we're not going down there this year, um, so I can't do anything about it. But I will be going back down there uh, next year. Um, we'll see if we can do something. I suppose it'll be vandalised again. Um, I don't know. But uh, Chip is with us. Chip's safe and he's with us. He'll always be with us. Um, I feel that's more of a reflection on the people that did it than it is on Chip, thankfully. Chip is a, was a marvellous dog. He helped me get through life, to be honest with you, at a real low point. Him and little Dale were all I had. Um, I do have a beautiful family with me now. <laughs> and obviously we've got different dogs. Um... And the children got a whole new life. And I love it. I really do love it. I just wish Chip was here with us. You may be able to hear the gully pump going on uh, on Chugs and see some ripples in the water at the side there. Uh, the kids are having their shower. Uh, we're facing towards Bettersfield, but what we're going to do is go up there, turn the boat round in the winding hole under the next bridge, and go back into Ellesmere. We're going to use the services, the Elson Point mainly. Bettersfield doesn't have an Elson Point, so we might as well just go back to Ellesmere, get some shopping, and then cruise on. And we don't know where we're going to, possibly Hampton Bank. All our friends have moved up there uh, yesterday and today, uh, so we may go up there we really don't know but we're not going to take you to the services again um i'm going to get the back of chugs ready now go up to the winding hall do ellesmere and then we'll pick up when we're coming back past blakemere and uh, we'll have another little chat a little bit to share with you guys <laughs> So we're off to the winding hole, quick turn around and then back and we may have a little bit more news about Chip's memorial and I'll share that when we've done the services and everything. We'll see you in a bit. And here we are back where we left you. There's our sawdust look. That's ours. So we're hoping to get to Hampton Bank Embankment Moorings. <laughs> why, why does Nicky laugh at me? I don't know why Nicky laughs at me. Um, but yeah, we've had a rethink. Nicky thought about it as well. Where Chips Memorial is, is a little bit of a dead end. It's right by Crick Tunnel. And nobody really walks that way, the towpath ends. You can go up to a field if you like on a little bit of a footpath but it's not somewhere where kids or anyone like that would would sort of meet up and we've got a, a a lovely couple heather and scott that live nearby we met them at crick and well they weren't actually in the show we were coming from the shop 
but we met them at Crick and they've said they will keep an eye on his memorial for us and they have so thanks very much guys but uh, unknown to me they have messaged Nikki this morning they've been to have a look and tidied it up a lot and they think that perhaps the CRT have gone by with one of their large mowers and perhaps gone straight over the cross there's no sign of the cross there so that's gone which tends to make me think if you were a vandal would you take the cross maybe not um, I really don't know but that is a good explanation for it so I'd like to think that no human could do a thing like that but I know that some of them can <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it was an accident. But uh, I would like to get down there perhaps next year and tidy it up a bit. had a lovely stay there in Blakeney and we had a lovely surprise the other morning. Nikki and I were sat on the bed having our morning coffee and Nikki's mum phoned up and uh, asked where we were moored and we told her. We said we're uh, about 20 minutes walk out of uh, Ellesmere at a place called Blakemere and uh, she then said well we should be with you in a minute and they walked, they, they came and stayed uh, and had a surprise visit. They parked in Ellesmere and had a walk up and we spent a lovely day with them. We had a lovely walk around the Mere. Uh, the sun was shining and it was just brilliant and it really cheered us all up. Sadly, they only uh, stayed. We had one day with them, but that was great. Um, that sort of charged our batteries up. It was really nice. getting beautiful signs of spring now um, it's just around the corner and we're looking forward to it can't wait for uh, the warmer weather having said that we've really enjoyed uh, the winter on the canals this year it's been well quite magical if uh, I'm truthful about it all the friends well new friends that we've made and also all the old friends that we've seen again uh, all on the Van Gogh uh, it's been a memorable trip and we've uh, we've really enjoyed it incidentally if you check out Noah's channel as well he's been very busy lately um, if you check out his channel there's a, a link below he's had another video from his friends over in Florida so you can see his latest vlog and his reaction to uh, the questions that he's been asked and uh, yeah had a very busy day the other day uh, at the time of viewing um, we filmed it all yesterday uh, but you would, would, he released it, sorry, he released it on YouTube. Uh, yesterday of the day you're seeing this. I think I got it right. One of the times that uh, we were in Ellesmere, the hippie boat, who are traders on the canals, well-known traders, uh, they sell some lovely clothing, uh, hoping to bump into them either in Whitchurch or Middlewich, as they've got some tops in that I want to buy or have a look at. Anyway, um, yeah, they were in the dry dock in Ellesmere Yard, so uh, Lily and Nikki went to have a look, and uh, I treated Nikki to a couple of dresses as well. Here they are. So here they are, look at that. I mean, okay, they, you know, they don't do a lot for me, but Nikki's very pleased with them. That's Lil's. Oh, that's Lily's. That's Lily. Sorry, Lily had that on with her nan and grumpy. That's Lily. 
And Lily got another one as well, hasn't she? Lily has, yeah. yeah. That's one of mine. That is very nice. There you go. There we go. Won't fit you, though. It's just my colour. Do you think? But they are a lovely couple on that boat, and they do have a website. If Nikki can fathom it out and help me out, I'm sure we can put a link in the description below for the hippie boat. They do some lovely things, I tell you. And the beauty of it is, they're one-offs. Most of their merchandise is a, a one-off, so you won't see anyone else wearing what you buy. So they're nice, and they're, they are nice people as well, so check them out. Yeah, We've had an eventful week or so, really. When we've been at Blakemere and Ellesmere, it's been busy, hasn't it? But it's been good. It's been good fun. And there is a crop you don't see very often. It's a crop of wands. Yeah, for Harry Potter. You don't see them around very often. The wind is starting to get up and we're just going past the area where we were moored up with the tailors not so long ago. Uh, we're hoping that was our last visit to Ellesmere on this little trip anyway. Nothing wrong with Ellesmere, it's just that we've done it and we're looking forward to getting off now. Uh, lots of plans as you know or may know for this year and hoping to share more on that perhaps um, nearer the time. But yeah, hoping to meet the tailors again soon as well but they have given a weather warning for was it the next three days Dallin? Uh, Friday I think it's Friday. Friday Friday we think for very strong winds and I think for the next few days we've got a bit of rain coming in so we have done our shopping we've got fuel we've emptied the bins um, oh, we've got empty loos don't we rock personally don't like the way they line these bridges it's like cruising through an old world war ii anderson shelter or something uh, surely there must be a nicer looking way of uh, strengthening the, the, the bridges i suppose if it does the job not my favorite though Just a couple more bends and that's where Secret is moored. So we're hoping to moor up just behind Secret. When I say behind, Secret is pointing this direction. So uh, we can go back just under that bridge and window uh, when we're ready to move on towards Whitchurch, which will probably be in a few days time, I think. Uh, but if it's a, a full forecast, uh, a few days rain now, I might moor up when we get Chugs moored up, but we'll see. But. Uh, Nearly there, and I'm glad really, because it's getting cooler. <laughs> well, here we are going along Hampton Bank Embankment Moorings. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> it's not funny. Um, yeah, so here we are at Hampton Bank Embankment Moorings. You're still doing it, aren't you? I can tell. And uh, it's looking very busy. When we were here, it was just us and a couple of boats this, this far end. But uh, it's very busy now. I know a few of our friends have come up this way. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting moored up now. But what a beautiful view. So many colours in the sky here today. So many. Well, here are a couple of boats that you'll definitely recognise. Uh, this boat here, undoubtedly one of the most famous boats on the waterway, Silver Fox, with the lovely Derek and Pauline. Uh, on board and I think they're coming out to say it's like a cook like a cuckoo clock what time is it how are you doing we're just, aren't you we're just gonna moor up now and then just in front of Derek and Pauline 
That's Heidi's boat, of course. Our narrowboat pirate friend. She's on board with a lovely new sign writing. Look at that, that Alan did. Isn't that lovely? So Heidi's there. Don't know if she's on board. She might be working. She does work very hard. She'll be making some badges and she's getting ready to trade again now with spring just around the corner. And here is the very lovely Paul Paul's boat baked on board. Undoubtedly the best pizzas on the canals. And there he is. He's hiding in there. Look, he's telling he tells everyone to go away. No, he's really nice. Lovely fella. He's not as nice as his pizzas though, is he? No. And here is the lovely Nikki's boat. Nikki Woodburner. She's a trader as well, does some beautiful things. Yeah, well, we're getting moored up. moored up in the sunshine but I don't think the sunshine's going to stay for too long to be honest with you it's not looking too promising and I'm not going to sit outside either because it's too cold uh, you can see Nikki there hanging her bird feeders up bless her likes to look out the windows and uh, see the birdies feeding off them uh, yeah well that's it not a lot else to report we've had our dinner on the move kiddies have already had their dinner so it's going to be a nice cozy movie afternoon I think that's what we're going to do. Um, are we watching a movie, darling? We are. That's the plan then. It's official. Nikki has spoken. Are we going to watch the Magnificent Men on their flying machines no, again? That pterodactyl thing. Oh, the land that time forgot we've got on there. We love all these old crappy movies. <laughs> and the sound effects in the land that time forgot. <laughs> it's just the best. It's amazing. I said to Nicky on the way, the pterodactyl at the beginning when he's going for that biplane. You can picture the scene in the movies, can't you? With his microphone doing the sound effects. Would be great. What amazes me is how do they know what a pterodactyl sounded like? I'll put money on it. It sounded bugger all like that. Right, we're going in and getting in the warm. See you next time, guys. Bye.